All right, so this is a comprehensive high resolution atlas of gene expression in the adult mouse brain. Why mouse? Because it's one of the most common species used in neuroscience research. This was our very first project as an organization. And the idea is to help the research community by make it so people can look up gene expression instead of having to run it themselves over and over. You can look up gene expression again for the whole mouse genome and the whole brain. And this uses in situ hybridization, ISH, across mostly sagittal slices of the brain showing the location and the relative amount of gene expression for all genes one at a time individually. For the details on how we uh, developed in, uh, those ISH methods and collected the data, go ahead and check out this documentation link. And there's a detailed papers that explain that in depth um, so that you could replicate it yourself if you wanted to. There's a few ways to search here. I'm going to concentrate on two of them. Uh, for differential expression, what genes are more expressed in one region than others? Um, and for the uh, brain-wide expression of a gene of your choice. So first, I'm gonna do differential expression. If you click on any of these selected regions, I'm gonna do hippocampus, it's going to show a list of genes that are enriched in your area of interest compared to, by default, the whole brain. That's what gray he means here. You can also switch this contrast structure to have any brain structure uh, be the contrast. So let's do um, hippocampus versus um, cerebral cortex. So what we're looking at here is genes that are more expressed in the hippocampus than in cerebral cortex as a whole, um, and the relative difference in that gene expression level. So uh, Prosper homo homeobox 1, prox 1, is the gene that has the greatest differential expression in hippocampus relative to cortex. Uh, you can click on the experiment number here to see more detail about the expression pattern of each gene. I'm going to come back to that in a moment. Um, so you can go back to the homepage here to do a new search by clicking on ISH. Uh, and alternatively, you can search by a single gene. So I'm going to pick a random gene. Um, and then you can pull up these experiments that show that gene's expression. We have a few different parameters here. So you'll notice some of these, uh, we have three sagittal experiments that, uh, and one coronal. And we have different orientations of the ISH probe, sense versus antisense. I'm just gonna pick one of the sagittal experiments to show you that uh, expression in more detail. So what you're looking at here is slices of ISH data. So we have brain slices that have been, uh, that have, are showing the expression level of, in this case, DRD1. And this is sagittal. So these slices are being arranged from the lateral edge of the brain towards the medial. And you can use these arrows to navigate through these slices. For a coronal experiment, this would be moving from the anterior to the posterior of the brain. For each gene on each slice, we have the ISH that shows the relative location and the intensity of the gene expression. And if you use this drop down menu here up in the upper right, you can switch over to a Nissel stain that just shows you where the cell bodies are to, um, to give you uh, a sense of the relative location of the cell bodies that you need for the ISH. We also have down at the bottom these summary bar graphs show the relative fluorescence. And DRD1 is highly expressed in the striatum, as expected. This gives a very coarse high level summary at a glance of the gene expression patterns. Um, note that the, the ISH data is semi-quantitative due to the signal amplification process. And the intensity of the signal is not linearly correlated with the amount of transcript present. The gene expression should always be interpreted in relative terms and compare with caution across genes because they go through this, the signal amplification process separately. You can download these ISH images from this page, or if you want to download more than a couple of genes worth, if you go up to tools, it will take you to the API, and, and that will give you instructions on how to download these images in bulk using an API search. There's another main way to explore the uh, mouse brain atlas data, and that is the Allen Gene Expression Explorer. So if you look in the header here, we see AGEA. So this lets you search with crosshairs to select a seed region. So I'm going to pick a random seed region. 
Um, so I've got the ventral posterior medial nucleus of the thalamus. And what you're looking at down here is a heat map that shows you what other regions of the brain have uh, gene expression patterns that are highly correlated with the region that you set that seed for. So I'm going to pick a, another random region. You can see that uh, for the amygdala, that these are the brain regions that are highly correlated with uh, the amygdala as far as the, uh, the gene expression patterns. And then down at the bottom here, we have this find genes button. And that is going to pull up a list of those genes that are highly expressed in your seed region that you selected on that heat map. We also have similar ISH, it's the same data that we've already seen, I should clarify that. It just is a visual search tool uh, that is searching the same ISH data that the other two views were also searching. 